Hey there guys, Crafty Nessie here, back with another video. Um, I'm back again with Kane. Um, I love this kid, he's one of my favorites. Um, he's one. Of, he's the blonde character that was in my last video um, from Ordinary Stars. And he is just my favorite. I've always loved his design. His design has never changed. And mostly because of his eyes and just his personality. I just love drawing characters with this personality. Which is the complete opposite of mine. Which is ironic because I am a Leo. And he's supposed to be the representation of Leo. Incarnate. So it's a little bit ironic. But maybe that's why I like drawing these characters. You know what? Food for thought. Anyway, um, this is me just drawing, trying to figure out how I was going to sketch him's pose. It was really kind of difficult because his legs just kept doing weird things and I just did not know what to do with them. Sometimes it was kicking forward, then it was kicking back, and then it was kicking to the side. And I really wanted to amplify an, like, an exaggerated dynamic pose, but it was really kind of difficult with what I wanted. So it was a lot of trial and error. So food food to the wise don't be afraid to keep erasing and re reworking you don't have to stick with the same pose from the beginning so this is Kane as I was saying earlier and he's supposed to be the, in the story he's supposed to be the embodiment of Leo in the zodiac 12 and he's just your average fun loving kid um, very high energy and loves to do skateboarding he has a motorcycle and his old he also has an older brother who's also in the zodiac and he's just a fun energetic kid and i really wanted to exemplify that in his design and in his coloring and so he has this very bright attitude and he has a lot of blonde hair and his eyes just remind me of the ones from demon slayer you know how they have the color and the white iris I knew that I was drawing that before Demon Slayer even came out. I just love doing those kind of eyes every once in a while. It just gives a character character in its own unique style. So for this one, I really wanted to focus on the dynamic poses and working on backgrounds and just kind of like working with color. It's not something I really practice a lot, so I thought I would try. You'll notice that a background just magically appeared in the background. That was just because I was stealing a background from another picture that I drew. Word to the wise. It's okay to cheat in art. As long as it's your own art. Otherwise, yeah, that's called theft. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yep. Upcoming, you'll see that I do a little tutorial where like right now I'm filling in color for the background just to be a base layer and from there here's a cheat for you guys use clipping masks basically you can use clipping masks to make all the layers above basically stay confined to the layer at the bottom and it is such a cheat cheat because it helps usually with me for shading and things like that and it really helps like confine things and me not having to worry about going outside the lines i just have to stay within the lines of areas that aren't connected to the base layer so like the shirt from the pants i have to just be careful with those clean lines but otherwise it's a godsend i love it and i've been using it since i discovered it in like high school so it works so here you'll notice that i go over with the line art after i've colored everything up until now, up until this moment, I was thinking about just cleaning up the liner and then just coloring it in, and that was going to be my liner. Then I figured out I didn't like it, so it's been a habit of mine to go in and just clean up the line art that I had already been doing, and then that would be my line art for it. And then this time I was like, nah, it just doesn't look clean, it doesn't look right. So I went ahead and I redid the line art, took the time to actually like go in make it look nice figure out where I wanted certain lines because even for the hands it was a little confusing with the rough sketch and it kind of made it look weird so I decided to just clean up all the lines make it look nice make it look pretty 
and it even adjusted some weight in the lines and it also added variety even though i love the sketchy look of line art especially like the rough sketches it really helped to like break it down and oh my gosh this ear annoys me and i'm so glad i fixed it later <laughs> if you look at the ear it is way off center too big could not stand it another trick i did for this one was i actually did all the shading and the highlighting in the base layer and then i duplicated it and put it above all the other colors and then i made it multiply and i messed around with some of the settings to make it so it was the shading rather than used all the colors that were like filled into the actual like individual pieces as just base layers it's not something i normally do and it was just me messing around with different features so i kind of like it but i kind of don't it kind of just helped everything like blend and then i also messed around with the different colors and i changed it to like purple and stuff like that just to see like if i can blend all the colors together it's kind of like adding a wash over a painting so like it makes everything co cohesive so it kind of worked i'm not quite sure if i liked it or not i'm just gonna mess around with it in the future so we'll see um the chain link fence that was fun um i individually like went in and like figured out how to color it like you'll see me try to figure out where where there's holes in my line work and so yeah and then i just made it look all rusty that was fun um yeah this is it this is kane say hello um hope you guys enjoyed this video look at me new end card it looks awesome um don't forget to like and subscribe love y'all see you next time bye